you sports babes. Today we're talking bracketology. Let the games begin. Drum roll please. Hi, I'm sports babe Tommy. All right, that's not sports <laughs> babe Tommy. That is Tommy Walden, Bruin player from 93-94, who's going to come and compare his bracket to my bracket, Mary Sam's bracket. Are you ready to go two on one with the babes? Absolutely. All right, bring it. Let's go. Start with the Midwest. All right, so we have the number one overall seat in this bracket in Florida, last year's champs. Looks like they might have a pretty easy cakewalk into that Elite Eight game. Oh, I definitely think. I, th I see them easy walking into the Final Four. I think when you've got Joaquin Noah, who all of a sudden seems like he's got that heart to play back. He kind of knows what he wants to do now. My only potentially upset in this bracket is going to be, I think, Georgia Tech, a 10 seed, is going to walk over Wisconsin, the number two seed. Not the same team without Butch. I agree on that one. But I do see Oregon stepping up, and they have great guard play. Um, I think they can beat Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is a little young in the backcourt. But when it comes down to it, I think Florida has what it takes to get back to the Final Four. Troll it, Wes. All right, this is going to be no surprise to you, Mary Sam, but I think Kansas stole this number one seed. I know they won their Come tournament, <laughs> but UCLA, I mean, Aflalo coming in, a player of the year candidate. The perimeter game that this team has is amazing. The experience of being in the finals last year, I see them coming out. But I gotta say, Kansas looks like it's running on all cylinders right now. Yes, UCLA has Aaron Aflalo, but who can forget the three points he scored in the Pac-10 tourney? I mean, UCLA has dropped their last two. I don't know, guys. I, I got Kansas coming out of this one. I don't know. Kansas has always struggled in the first round. You know, Bradley, Bucknell, they have their number. You know, they have a higher seed now, but, you know, Bill Self has difficulty getting out of that first round. We'll have yeah. to see. Uh, Self doubting himself, so <laughs> hey. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> we got two UCLA's to one Kansas. <laughs> Let's head southbound. All right, guys. This bracket, all I see in this bracket is Greg Oden. The guy is playing like a monster right now. We saw what he did in the Big Ten Championship. And Greg Oden is a force. You know, he's he's unstoppable. But in this in this bracket, I have a couple interesting games. I think Stanford can do something and, and beat Louisville. They got two seven-footers down there. Stanford? And yeah. Stanford? I see Stanford, absolutely. Okay. Memphis, I Over think, was the biggest thief in the, in the tournament getting a number two seed. I don't think they deserve it. All right, I'm completely away from you guys on this one. I'm going with Texas A&M. I felt like they kind of got the shaft with Memphis getting the number two pick. You got AC Law. Can anybody be more clutch than this guy? And you know what? Odin is great, but he's really pretty much all they have. And if he's having a bad game, I think they rely too much on him. So I see Texas A&M Still on this one, going to the big dance. Ohio State just has too many weapons. You got Conley, you got Harris, you got Daquan Cook. I mean, those three-point shooters they have are ridiculous. So I, I don't see anybody being able to test them. And you got a seven-footer who can use both hands. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, the 86-inch wingspan is going to be like, he's a freshman. You know, you've got the experience going in. I think he's going to choke in the big time. And you got AC Law, Mr. Clutch, going to lay down the law. <laughs> And finally, let's head east. All right, I don't know what my guys at Carolina did to really tick off the selection committee, <laughs> but how did they put all this talent in the east? I mean, just best bracket sure. totally by the best far. Bracket. Oh, cool. I still think that the Tar Heels will come out on top and make it to the final four. I just don't think so. They're going to have to be battle tested in order to get out of there. I mean, Marquette in, their, you know, in the second round, they're going to have Texas. I don't think they get by Texas. Durant is capable of putting up 40 on anybody. Abrams is a great shooter. I think that there's been so much emphasis put on Durant that when you have him, they put so much pressure on him. You got to remember, there are have four freshmen on there and one sophomore. They don't have the experience coming out of Carolina. You got to remember, in 2005, they won the championship. Rayshon Terry on that team, and Roy Williams. I mean, this guy's like third in winning percentage going in. He is the sixth man on that team. Deep, deep, deep team with talent. But everybody knows Kevin Durant does not play like a freshman. This guy is nuts. We saw what happened in the conference tourney. A bad night, 37 points. I mean, I think that Kevin Durant has that quality that Carmelo Anthony did a couple years ago with Syracuse, where this guy can turn it on and lead his team into that final four game. You know what? I just think Georgetown is playing phenomenal basketball. They're, they are so good on defense that I think that they have what it takes to come out of this bracket. All right, Tommy. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, it was a pleasure having you here. But let's head it over to some NCAA clutch time. 
All right, my clutch time has to go to the NCAA selection committee for omitting Drexel. How do you do that? A 39 RPI. And you know what? I understand you're not putting Syracuse in there, but not Drexel. 39 RPI? They beat Villanova? Come on. You made a big mistake on this one. I'm going to go with the opposite. I'm going to go with uh, Arkansas. I think Arkansas stole a seed and possibly stole a seed away from Drexel. They managed to you know, get into the Southeast Conference final got walked over by uh, Florida and uh, ended up stealing the seed. And I'm going to have to go with the two teams who are trying to play themselves into the tournament in FAMU and Niagara. Well, guys, all I got to say is enjoy the moment because you're just going to get your ass waxed by Kansas in the first round. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On behalf of Tommy, Mary, Sam, I'm Vicki. Thanks for watching Sports Babes. We'll see you next time.